Actually, we've only beaten three missions. Uh, we're doing moderately good, though. Yeah, I mean, again, I think it was expected that these later missions were supposed to be incredibly difficult, so... Yeah, it's it good, does feel stuff. like there's a very good difficulty curve on this one compared to the other ones, you know? Except Sky Shield. <laughs> That's the only one oh, I would right. say probably needed toned down I a actually little. blanked that out of my memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It never existed. But yeah, I agree. It's, it's nice to see that. So uh, Temple of Unification was, you know, it was up there. I think like every mission we've hit, I, for the most part, I think like, okay, yeah, these are, they're a handful, but like, I get it. I'm a little disappointed at how underpowered our tools feel like at times, but like the difficulty of each map feels relatively consistent, except Sky Shield. I think the big thing is that because we have triple Spear of a Dune, we have so much power up there that you have to have worse ground units, otherwise it's just obscene. True. Yep. Like, our ability to click on, or select a target and then it is just gone is insane. Uh, you yeah. You put on Brutal. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, Brutal. We gotta go crazy. It's no the same go. with Heart of the Swarm, too, where, like, we had three heroes, so it makes sense that it needs to be sort of balanced around that. Apparently, chat wants you to go reverse. I'm not going to encourage it because I know you hate them. <laughs> What's an incentive we can do? I heard you can actually fit a human race inside of a reaver. One reaver. Yeah, well, it's a pro one Protoss worm. Yep, absolutely. Man, that was perfect. In my head, as I was thinking, I'm like, oh, it's like a Nidus worm, right? And they're like popping out all around Shakuras. And then as I said put the human race into a worm hmm yeah, weird times I mean, there there was a like how would you explain it all the words kind of related to each other I'll give you that <laughs> I have made a decision all right the Phalanx Assault Strider can use Gravity Surge to force flyers onto the ground. Ooh. That that's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm going to go Phalanx. I'll go with Old Faithful. Oh, we have ultimate abilities, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's see. <laughs> this summons a stone setter to the targeted area. Last 60 seconds. Dude, Impressive. if we get attacked by, like, four to five marauders, that'll be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, units are down to costing six minerals left, boys. That's big. Please nerf. Uh, mine are all normal. Uh, apparently, I get the ability... Um, you know... Hera in Age of Mythology, Hera has an ultimate ability. I think I got that. It just summons a lightning storm that strikes people with lightning. Hmm. We're Age of Mythology now. I like it. Uh, I'm going to take Time Stop in lieu of Solar Lance. Do you think that's a bad idea? I like winning. What does that mean? Uh, time Stop wins games. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, one neat trick is that when you time stop and the megalith is inside of the thing, its progress will freeze. Oh. We That's must nice. Stand as one. And you also, I, I, I assume that you guys are, are, are semi-aware of how, like, just let the megalith attack something that's not really a threat to it for as long as possible. So it'll just sit there for as long as possible. We'll see yeah. how that goes. <laughs> I have a feeling the Megalith is going to have a hard life. And this mission does get infinitely easier if we have the ability to take down that southern base. Yes. So n normally you can do that with DTs pretty easily. I I'm a little skeptical, though. We'll see. I'm skeptical, too. So who's going to go Colossus? I have a feeling Colossus are going to be pretty good here. I think the Phalanx to bring down air units. I mean, Lord Dizzy has to put a lot of air units here, right? Because otherwise the Colossus will be overpowered. Um, so I'm going to try to make Phalanx. I'd be fine. I'm fine being the Colossus guy here. 
I think Void Race will win again, but yeah, <laughs> we can try. Okay, so if you can go Voids. <laughs> I mean, and what's better than Void up. Rays when you could have Void Rays and something else? Right. That's like That's power. Right. Just like last mission where we made Void Rays and then you made something else and never got above 100 supply. <laughs> I, well, photon cannons don't take supply. Don't give Lord DZ ideas. <laughs> and it's true. I, w I would say that while you were running low supply, that those defenses uh, they they were they did a lot of hard work for us. Well I'm going to do the same thing here on the right hand side. There's often a lot of attacks that come. I'm just going to make sure that area is shored up and hope that you guys can deal with the megalith on the first pass. Okay. Because the first area is generally not that bad. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status. Uh, so I'm going to make Colossi and maybe try to mix in a few Corsairs. I think that would be a really good addition here with, like, Mutalisks and possible Scourge, if that's a thing here. The megalith did your guys start auto-mining? Because mine didn't. It will be ready to no, mine didn't. did. In the meantime, huh. I've upgraded our that sucks. facilities to construct Colossi. Ooh, defensive measures! Whenever you wish, Hierarch. Well, yep. It's the best ability. It's okay. I think it's better against Zerg because the Zergling really does get impacted by it. I don't know. I think it's just like, why couldn't it have just been plus two armor to defensive structures, period? I don't think there needed to be any other qualifiers. It still wouldn't be that good or competitive. But it's free. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I still think though that Two armor on photon cannons ain't gonna like break the bank in any specific circumstance. Yeah, you're probably right. Don't clear too much. Make sure that you allow the megalith to go really, really slow at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I feel like my job today has just been trying to get as many things buffed as possible. <laughs> I appreciate it. It'll never happen, but I have to try. So Megalith, I think, is a little bit weaker than he normally is, but he has a double attack. Hmm. So his damage is better, but his HP is worse. And one thing about the Megalith is he has three armor, but no shield armor. So he's actually much bulkier on the HP section than he looks. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I had to min-max this mission for the all achievements one. Mm-hmm because clearing all the buildings before it gets to the fourth block on Brutal is kind of tough. Does the Megalith full heal between each one, or does it only... It absolutely does. Okay. Uh, this is this is a problem. Oh, no. Oh, my way. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we all need uh, reasonable f forces for that first one. Sorry, I was building cannons. <laughs> hmm. Uh, you know, honestly, I so I started building a Colossus. I almost think that just making Immortals earlier makes more sense because there are two or three Ultralisks in between the Megalith and the first one. That's a good point. So I will do that. Which type of mortal do you have? Uh, I took vanguards last time. I probably will do that again. Gotcha. Yeah, that would be good. I think that... So if the phalanx brings air units down and the vanguard kills everything that has ever been on the ground, that's like a combo, right? It should be. <laughs> uh, the only thing that should be able to beat us is like a hybrid nemesis that slowly tickles us. Right. And then the hero synergy comes in with a fleet of 700 void rays and kills that hybrid. Oh, did I do brutal? Div I think I did brutal again instead of madness. Ah, uh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We will play it or it's okay. Let's no, it's just, okay. we can restart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to make you feel better. I appreciate it. We're in this nightmare together. We've got to, got to hold on to what we got, you know? So what do we think the last Colossus variant is going to be? I just, I don't know. For some reason, that one is really tickling me, and I'm excited to see. 
It's it would be it's Nerazim, right? Oh, a spooky colossus. <laughs> Uh, Jay, you got your wish. Scouts got buffed. Woo! Increased range, reduce cooldown, and yeah, no, that's about it. Still not making them. Er, yay! Oh, and Plague, and Plague has been nerfed. Oh, damn it! And Talon Carriers have her cooldown increased. Um, I think that's good for us. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. So, Plague and Skydress are worse, but Scouts are better. Wow. No. Uh, All right, so here is the here's the plan. Now I go Dark Archons and I mind control the Scouts instead. Mm. Nailed it. The range increase on the Scouts is pretty good. I don't know why the plague damage got reduced. It already wasn't enough to kill capital ships. Yeah, when I, when I Solar know. Lance can. I think he was watching me kill Archons, but he's going to have to drop it by a lot to make it able to not kill an Archon. Or just make it affect shields and not reduce the damage. No. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's the way to actually address the exploit instead of just I making it worse across the board. Many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I say this as if I'm like, I've like balanced stuff before. To be clear, I don't know what I'm talking about. So it's okay. Neither does Blizzard. There you go. Oh look, I'm being edgy and controversial, guys. Put me on the front page of Reddit. <laughs> okay, I have everything selected. Good. I stand ready. So I think Guardian Shell is going to be a no-brainer. It's interesting. So my mid-tier is Guardian Shell, and the top tier is, again, all units gain plus 20 shields. That just seems silly. I think there's probably some point where it might be okay, but... Lower difficulties, yeah. Or, okay, I grab Hallucination Army, and then you give all them 20 shields. And think <laughs> of how bulky those zealots will be. Wow. They're going to be blasting through everything. Oh, yeah. I like Apple Pie's thought, blink, a blinking colossus. Oh, don't make me dream like that. That's beautiful. So we've got anti-structure siege, we've got AoE siege, and we've got single target siege. What is, what's like the last thing that belongs in that group, do you think? Hmm. Because I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe one that can also attack air, like air splash? I don't know. Because Wrathwalkers can hit air, but it's single target. The Zerg are coming from that cave. Oh, the Hydra Flash. <laughs> I know, it got me last time, yeah. <laughs> and they've got Frenzy. No synergy? Oh, misclick. Uh, don't worry, it's not the Void Ray. It'll come there. I'm not going to be able to cheese the rocks with Solar because I can't target it. I can only get one, not all three. Yeah, that's not the end of it. <gasps> <laughs> Micro. Watch out for Broodling Synergy. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is more embarrassing than losing Colossus to Broodlings. Well done. The area is secure. Warp Colossi are very top heavy. The Broodlings, they surround the legs, they can just pull it down, you know? Systems will take a few moments I've been thinking about this for a while now, but do you really think it'd be imbalanced if Colossus were immune to melee attacks? Because they're not that used. It'd be a really small buff, but it seems like it makes sense, you know? Like they're really hard to attack because they got their tiny legs. I 
I don't know. That's that's interesting. Maybe reduce damage from melee. The thing is, yeah, like Colossi typically are countered not by melee units. So I think. Well, that... the problem. One of the problems is that Ling Bane is really good against Stalker Colossus, and that feels wrong. Yeah. And I'm just going from feeling there. And, like, it doesn't change anything against Terran, where they're best, or where the Colossus is best anyway, unless the SCV is your counter to it. Yeah, that's an interesting, yeah, that's an interesting idea. I don't know, I like little things like that, that, and, I mean, it would change, like, the Zealot being able to kill a Colossus, but I don't think that matters that much. I just feel like it'd make things a little bit better, because when, like, 12 lings get under a Colossus and kill it in two seconds, that's not how it's, it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's just not right. Yeah, agreed. Okay, here we go. Hey, I'm using Surgical Strike. Dark Minds. Heck yeah! You nerfed Plague, but you forgot about the Minds. <laughs> now Dark Minds are more powerful than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Alright, my Vanguard's coming out. Uh, yeah, so now just let the Megalith attack stuff. And we can get the pickups and stuff. Yeah, and this is uh, both Brutalisk or something. Well, Ooh, there's a Swarm Host, really which good. is actually good. That's going to hold it up. Oh, no, Swarm Host faster, faster. Yeah. No, Spot Megalith. Out. Too slow. All right, let's go and kill that thing, I guess. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure not reach our nexus point. The Megalith has reached the first oh, gosh. block. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. Am I the only one that kind of thinks that that vanguards are just better colossi? No, I agree with you. The fire oh. colossus does have value. Oh yeah, fire colossus DPS overall is incredible. It's just vanguards are slightly cheaper. That's the only reason I would imagine they're a little better. Wow, that was no joke. Pulling back to the dark mine. No, nope. run vanguard, run. is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Oh, this thing in the middle is we can build on it. Uh, my instinct was that we couldn't, but I'm glad that we can. Oh. I was avoiding it. I never even checked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's normally where the Nexus goes. So the map has been expanded uh, north, I think. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. So it's going to be moving here soon. I don't know if we're going to... I have time stop, by the way. Wait, let the swarm host do its thing. Hey, it's good I never actually was able to kill that thing. Oh, it's killing the swarm host first. That's fine. Just let it take as long as possible. Alright, we should probably escort now. Okay. Okay. I have only one void wave, but three more are coming. Uh, what if I time stopped and then we just push through the center area and by that I'm just okay. gonna do it? Yeah, well, yeah. Did you notice that you completely nullified an attack wave against us right there? Um. Yes. Right. Good awareness. I did that on purpose for sure. Legendary Jay Brina strikes again. Mm hmm. Knowledge of the UED will do that. I don't know how you're so good at that specifically. Because I sure as heck didn't know Project Black Flag. Uh, so uh, it's it's the time that I've spent with Brood War mods. I've played a lot of those, and uh, a lot of them are like really into lore-related stuff. Ah, oh, the Scourge. Are oh, there Scourge? Okay. Let's get these oh. hosts. Okay, Do you think we're going to be able to kill this third base? We can. Because I'm going to have my ultimate in 30. I have it up. We can certainly we, try. Uh, yeah. It's going to damage an area. Okay, All right, let's, let's go. Fight. 
Take this kind of damage in it. Quite a big circle. It's early enough. If it doesn't work, we can just, you know. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solar. That's a really lackluster ultimate. Oh, it's like a little what? mini uh, solar bombardment. How cute. It's got a 600 second cooldown. <laughs> yeah, I just said it was cute. I didn't say it was good. That's 10 minutes. Yep, same with the. Uh, okay. Same with time stop. Well, wow, that's not good. We might need to be especially careful with those now because it seems like the timings have been. Because they're normally, what, 240? Now it's 600. That's probably fair, but that's still a very long time. Yeah. And like you said earlier, it makes sense because of the the fact that, you know, we all have one. I get that. Doesn't make me feel any better about it, though. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The Megalith is... I'm going for the bonus objective. Okay. The canyon grows I'm gonna go nowhere because I'm fungal. I am just going to auto-attack oh, through oh. this... Center area. Ah, uh, no. This is such a weird escort mission because the Megalith is actually good. Yeah, it's not bad. Zerkling's coming yeah, in. You're I just used to those escorts where the person you're escorting is just pure garbage. Yes. Natalia. Yeah. Were you able to get the bonus? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I got it. Also, you have one idle probe each on the base, on the expansion. Oh, I was going to take it. Do yeah. you want it? <laughs> I, I'm, well, I'm fine either way. Yeah. Well, I left, yeah. so it's all yours. I'm gonna plus three attack now. Nice. Lurkers. Careful, move from that lurker. Do we have anything that can get um get reinforcements like up to the front? Uh, no. No. Okay. I didn't have enough energy for for harmonization this time. Trying to make a, a observer. Okay, going for the second bonus. Okay, I'm just picking up some pickups, which I think are pretty valuable here. I'm gonna get some energizers. Could you leave one Colossus with the attack or with the defense area? They send a lot of lings. And just having one guy there would be really, really good. Uh, yes. After after my current thing that's being built is done, I'll I'll do that. Thank you for building that stuff, by the way. It's been great, and Dark Minds have actually killed it. They have like 120 kills this mission. Dark Minds. Oh, sorry, I didn't say it cool enough. You're right. <laughs> Fun fact, they don't actually trigger until you say their name like that. Yep. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're done with the bonus. We just have to survive. Uh, okay, I'll snipe the, okay, the, the, the rocks. Okay, one done. Going for the other one. Okay. Dude, I have a single Corsair, and it is killing it. Yeah, the web is so good. And the fact that it's permanently cloaked, like it's awesome to see that so, like things actually like some things actually got like solid buffs. 
Look at that. I like how you say that like a disappointed mother. Some things got just or good buffs. Detected in the caves ahead. I'm glad you did well in a subject, child. <laughs> Ooh, matriarch. Oh, oh. She's dead. I say, if it was going to be Dawadira, I would have been furious, but thankfully, no. Uh oh. Oh, well, that doesn't seem right. I'm going to kill the lair and keep surviving from the. I'm going for the rocks. Thank you. And the other rocks. Tower's ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Dawadira, who was the uh Who's the, the the brood queen that's on the ship. He has a lot of ex concubines. Oh yeah. Current ones. <laughs> King of the Zerg after all. Oh, there's like a couple lurkers they are just killing our stuff as reality. Uh, I've got um I've got an energizer up here. You can warp too. I'm actually max. Does anyone need resources? Uh, I could do some gas. Oh, great! Thank you. I think because I made a lot of siege, like I made a lot of the vanguard immortal stuff, it uh, stayed alive a lot longer. Well, you also have an expansion. Yes. Well, I mean, I wasn't getting any extra gas, but I still have a lot of extra gas to give. Uh, so yeah, I, I have, I have time stop. There's also lurk. To, there's yeah, lurkers on top. The, of wait for the Nidusus to pop, like when we can see them. Yeah. Because they don't spawn until you have vision. I'm just gonna get. There it is. I'm gonna try my ultimate. Okay, that. Now's probably the time. That's pretty. Oh, it's the planet cracker. Nice. Oh. Well, if it had hit more than one serling, it would have been even nicer. Oh yeah. Well, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make oh, that, a? It, so bad. <laughs> Did you make a warp prism? Did I? Yeah, I did. Nice. New oh, meta. That would have been good. New three-player meta. I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, this was the easiest, easiest mission by far. Don't say it. This was also very fun. On the map. 17 Nidus Wormers just pop up right now. Yeah, right. Defend the Megalith for 47 minutes while it charges at the last lock. I think that if we didn't kill the southern base, it would have been a pain. Yeah, I agree. I can't even begin to explain how good Dark Minds, though. Like, I know I said they got hundreds of kills, but I was not speaking, like, hyperbolically. They literally just attacks kept coming against this area, and the Minds didn't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they don't do AoE, but it's like six or seven, like, instant I think they kills. they AoE. Yeah. It's a really tiny AoE, but I'm pretty sure they do. Oh, okay. Well, then that is really good against Zerglings. I didn't notice that when I was using And Mutist. Very nice. Okay, that is a big deal. Yeah, I like the mines. Well, if Plague got nerfed, Plague should be tier 2 and Dark Mine should be tier 3, it sounds like. I don't want to spend the Solarite on that, please. <laughs> I'm saving money. I'm really digging the Phalanx. It feels really good. Yeah, that actually finally... was awesome. Yeah, the two of our mortals combined really allows us to fight on the ground with the ground, and I like that. Yeah, that's the first, like, fourth option that I think is really excellent. 